Limpopo-born Stoma Kadzi had the chance to meet President Cyril Ramaphosa and perform in Limpopo during the ANC's rally in her home province over the weekend. So this is a result of the municipal elections day nearing closer and also this is a result of basically political parties trying to use certain influences and celebrities to garner support for their own political agenda. So this picture of her wearing a green, yellow and black dress has actually left a bitter taste in many people's mouths all over the country purely as a result that people think that her allegiance with the ANC is just a slap in the face for most people. So a lot of people have actually weighed in on this including Chris Exile, a lot of Twitter users and obviously uh, the controversial port in Ziki Mazwai. She basically asked why Umakadzi was sabotaging her career and I think that she means that Umakadzi is actually committing career suicide by choosing to support or have a political affiliation with a political party that no longer serves majority of South African people, right? So a Twitter user by the name of Utlabi Simdwana wrote, defending Makazi, Shimza or any artist that supports the ANC is tantamount to defending the ANC itself. We want all young people to isolate the oppressor called the ANC. So any artist that sides with the oppressor because of money must be exposed. It's time to teach the ANC election. So the reaction from both sides has been extreme on Twitter. Twitter. So on the one end, people are saying that artists such as Makadzi, DJ Dira and Shimza, who are actually who have been campaigning for um, the ANC and have done in the future, are just doing so to make extra money. And other people are saying that it is absolutely their right for any political or sorry, for any artist to post whatever they want to. Right. Other people are saying that people who do so, meaning these celebrities who are supporting political parties like the ANC, are out of touch with the realities of many citizens and supporting the ANC is supporting their faults as corruption. And I stand with this 150%. If you support a certain political party that has a history of corruption, you are indirectly or even directly supporting the corruption of that political party. I do believe that Umakazi wearing this green dress and actually meeting the president, whether meeting a president is a privilege or not, it depends on the type of president that you're meeting, right? Makati doing so is a slap in the face, in the face, excuse me, purely because people are trying to change the political environment of the country. We are so tired, especially as the youth of the corruption that comes with the ANC, the neglect that comes with the ANC and the disrespect that comes with the ANC. Most people, or most youth, or some youth actually, I can't really quantify how many people are, are tired and actually want to change. So for young artists, you know, to come out here and actually rally for a political party that has abused or that is abusing, and I do say this is my own opinion, that is abusing majority of the people in South Africa, is actually a slap in the face to me too. I love Umakadzi and I've supported Umakadzi in the past and I think everyone wants to see Umakadzi and prosper. But sometimes not all forms of money are good money, right? You're not going to murder someone just because someone's going to give you 500,000 rands. You're not just going to do that right because you know that's not the correct way to make money and i'm so sorry to use an analogy that's so extreme but to me it feels like she's just disrespecting what we're trying to do what the youth is trying to do the direction that the youth is trying to take people are choosing no longer to vote for political parties such as the anc because they want to change the way that the vote operates in south africa as we all know majority of people in south africa are voting for the anc purely because of historical reasons purely because they still affiliate the ANC as the political party that actually led the liberation struggle against the apartheid regime, right? And for those reasons, people are not making informed decisions about the political parties that they choose to vote for. They're voting purely because they want to believe that the ANC has the potential to change. And we do not vote for potential, we vote for actions. And Umakazi doing this is directly standing against whatever we are trying to achieve as the youth in South Africa. People have the right to vote for any political party that they want to vote for, right? People have the right to rally for any political party that they want to rally for, to support any cause that they want to support. But I do think that people need to do everything in caution, especially when you have that amount of influence 
And I do believe that the ANC is actually, you know, and I speak, this is my opinion, obviously, I don't want to get dragged to get talk, taken to court. I don't think I can get taken to court for expressing my opinion, right? But I do believe that the ANC is using Umakadzi because they see that these days Umakadzi is constantly getting booked. Umakadzi is constantly making the news. Umakadzi is constantly trending on Twitter, right? So they're using this opportunity to use her influence and her fan base to change the minds of people because they see that they're slowly becoming out of touch with the youth. They see that the favor they used to have with the youth is slowly changing and they're panicking and that's why they're trying to use even more celebrities these days, especially as these municipal elections are, are, are getting closer you know, to try and change the public vote. But tell me what you think in the comment section. This is 100% my opinion. I'm not saying that this is the case. I am not saying that Umakadzi is going to vote for the ANC in the municipal elections. That is not what I'm saying. But I'm saying that she has, in a way, supported the ANC and she has, it's a fact, rallied for the ANC. Tell me what you think in the comment section, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll see you in my next upload. Goodbye, lovelies.